Hi, I'm Chappington, and welcome to Skraelica. So Skraelica is an alternate history project I'm putting together, mostly in city skylines, but there's going to be some maps and other things to go along with it. So the idea is that in this timeline, the Norse settled not just Greenland and the tip of Newfoundland, but they went a little bit further south. Not by too much, though. And there was one settlement that actually survived until recontact with the Europeans. And that settlement is on Skraelaga. Skraelaga is just off the coast of New England, right within the Gulf of Maine. That puts it next to the modern day states of New Hampshire and Maine. And the so Skraelaga can refer to either the main island or the larger chain of four islands that it's a part of. Uh, the main island is also known as Storain, literally translating to Big Island in Skraelagan, which is kind of a mostly minority language, but the language that stuck around for the last thousand years. Uh, so in the heartland of Skraelaga is the Sigwon River, cutting a fertile valley through the middle of the island. And then to the north and west, you have this big mountain, uh, Fjallvein, which is the Mountain of Hope. And then northeast of the valley is Mount Skraeling, the tallest peak in the country. And then to the south is Mount Thor, named after the Old Norse god of thunder. And then to the north is the island of Northney. Northney is mostly flat, and it's just under 10 kilometers away from the U.S. state of Maine. The south is the island of Midosan, and the peak of Sudfjall is in its center. South of Midosan is Sudrain, the flattish island that marks the southernmost point of Skraelika. So the indigenous people of Skraelika are the Abenaki, and in our current timeline were found throughout northern New England and the maritime provinces in Canada, and a little bit in Quebec. Around the time of first contact, they relied on a subsistence economy, mostly just growing corn, beans, and squash. And it was supplemented by hunting, gathering, and fishing, but the primary source was the agriculture. Uh, before contact, the Abenaki were a decentralized cultural groups, so there was no central authority, and the tribe on Skraelaga was fairly isolated as well. The main tribal settlement was on the shores of Lake Aserban, which is the main lake within the Sigwon River Valley. Uh, but there were a couple smaller settlements, uh, both up and down the river. So that's the setting of Skraelaga. Um, in the next episode, we'll be covering the Norse settlement. And as this goes along, the idea is going to be we're going to focus on Skraelaga and try to not change the history of the rest of the world too much. Uh, the discovery of a European settlement in the Americas is going to cause some ripple effects, but we'll try to minimize that just to make less work for me. Um, the idea is I'm trying to make the history somewhat plausible, but it's more to make an interesting story that's kind of realistic. Um, and like I'll be researching the history somewhat, but there's probably going to be some inaccuracies um, so just a heads up. The project's going to cover all of Skraelaga, but only the capital of Skraelbara is actually going to be in city skylines, uh, mainly because there's the uh, 17 by 17 kilometer limits of city skylines. So I'll be making like usually a short YouTube video and some accompanying articles on the Ministry of Sagas website. And they'll probably be some separate sections, just the author's notes, I'm just kind of talking about my thinking about like why the timeline has been developed the way it has been. And as you can probably tell from this, this takes a lot of inspiration slash shameless ripoffs from other city skylines projects uh, that kind of involve this style of building a city through time. So for example, like Do Not Eat Franklin, um, Akruas's Alton Grad series and the Presidio Bay project by B. Squicklehausen and Interurban Era, as well as Titans Ansberg. Um, look out for a fair number of Titans buildings popping up in the beginning of this series. Yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.